Imagine, if you will, this entire area being full of life and peppers and tomatoes rather than black plastic. That, that's what we're working on today here at Art Creation Homestead. Hey, welcome back to Art Creation Homestead. And we're out here today and it's, you know, it's early March. It's a beautiful day, by the way, for early March in Southwest Ohio. But it's early March and it's time to start some pepper seeds. Now, we start our peppers before our tomatoes because, let's face it, they take longer, okay? The peppers take a lot longer to germinate and they grow a little slower and they just need more time, okay? So we start our pepper seeds before we start our tomatoes and we're out here today, we're gonna to show you how we do our pepper seeds. Well, first of all, I'm gonna tell you that we are using uh, bootstrap farmer trays, all right? Um, these, these trays, as you can see, they're a lot sturdier. Look at that, okay? They're a lot, a lot sturdier than things you're gonna buy on, uh, on Amazon. They, uh, they are more expensive, but they're well worth it. For somebody like us who's gonna grow a lot more, gonna, gonna be growing a lot of food, gonna be planting a lot of seeds, gonna do it over and over and over and over again throughout the year um, and do it for years to come. These are worth it. Um, we've had the cheap ones for Amazon and they, they're fine for what you're doing. I feel like you're, if you're just a little bit, do a little bit here and there, maybe you're, not, maybe you're not sure how you're gonna go about this whole thing. Maybe you're just trying to do it on budget. I get it, we've been there and we're still there, <laughs> but these are just worth it um, for the long haul for us since we're gonna be doing this all the time, okay? Because the ones from Amazon are, are cheap and they are flimsy, they're gonna break. Uh, this is not gonna break. Look at this, these are not breaking anytime soon. Very, very, very sturdy not no sagging they're well worth it um like i said they're more expensive but they're from bootstrap farmer if you're interested in getting the stronger trays knowing that you're going to need them for years to come if not there's no shame in using the using the ones from amazon that's fine just understand that they are flimsy and they can break okay and a second of all i'm going to show you that you don't need special cups these are just the red plastic cups you get in the store uh we have we have nailed holes into the bottom for drainage. Okay, you're gonna need that. We have three holes in the bottom of each cup for drainage. And we put a good potting mix. Okay, you need a potting mix for it to start your seeds in. I want you to understand that it needs to be a good light soil. Um, honestly, the seed starting mixes that you can see, the little jiffy seed starting mixes, um, they can almost be too light and you, and you need maybe a little more substantial dirt for your root growth. You don't need to buy those little plugs, okay? don't need to buy the little plugs that, are, that say for seed starting and then up pot them later then up pot them again later you can start them all in one cup okay we're, we're not going to move these out of this cup until they go into the dirt all right this is all we have right here okay and it's about most of the way full and there's holes in the bottom okay you don't want to fill it all up because um they as the plant grows up you may want to put some more dirt in there and so this way it gives you room to put more dirt in there to give the the stem uh, a chance to get stronger, give it more support, okay? So what we've done, we've already filled up the, our cups and we've labeled our cups, okay? Now we have not stuck these tags down into the ground yet, see? As Varsky, okay? That's, that's the pepper that's gonna be, the seeds gonna be put in here. We're not putting this in the, in the dirt yet because it's gonna get in the way and I'll show you that in a minute. But we've got our cups filled, our cups properly labeled we're going to sort it out and put together and put in the trays that we want to need them in but now we're going to plant 33 peppers and two ground cherries okay if you don't know what a ground cherry is it's just a little little bitty <laughs> fruit like thing in a in a husk it's delicious look it up um but they're outstanding like a gooseberry okay almost like like gooseberries as well okay so we're gonna plant a couple of those 33 peppers six of them are for my mother-in-law but that's what we're planting today now don't worry i'm not showing you planting all the seeds <laughs> but what we're gonna do all right but i'm gonna go over this the varieties we're planting real fast just so you can be aware of what we're doing all right king of the north beautiful beautiful green bell pepper works in all in, in all locations pretty much they're not massive peppers, but they plant. They produce plenty of good green bells. Ashvarsky, wonderfully sweet, uh, cone-shaped pepper. Uh, great for stuffing, grilling, slicing, frying, everything. Orange bell, 
The most delicious pepper I've had. Nope, bar none. Beautifully sweet. Canary Bell, we've never had it before, but we, did, but we need a good yellow pepper for uh, fajita strips. Sweet banana, good pepper. We love we love pickled banana peppers. Cubanel, great versatile pepper. Um, can work in replacement of a green bell. We're on its own. No big. It's just wonderful. Works great in our salsa. Ash County pimento. I love pimento cheese. And hey, I'm from North Carolina. That county is almost where I'm from, right next to it. So I gotta have it because it's from North Carolina. <laughs> not a pino. Uh, not a pino is a, a heatless jalapeno. Okay, we we like. We don't mind the flavor of the heat on our tongue. It doesn't like our stomachs, so we go for a, a, a heatless, <laughs> heatless not a pino. It works wonderful. Works wonderful in all uh, preparations. And here's the ground cherry, Aunt Molly's ground cherry. It grows like a tomatillo. It's not. It's not a tomatillo in the slightest. <laughs> it's wonderfully sweet. Great flavor. We're, we've we've always got to have it, and our chickens love it too. But I do want to show you real fast exactly what we're how we what we do with our with our pepper seeds. Okay. You just take your little pepper seed, okay? Beautiful, clean pepper seeds. See? Very nice. Great, great seeds from Baker Creek. Take that little seed. We're going to put two in each cup, okay? Now, again, you need a good light mix. You need a potting mix, okay? This is Miracle Grow Performance, Performance Organics. Uh, potting uh, Container mix, potting mix, whatever. Um, but it's good light. It's a good light dirt. Don't use ground soil. Don't use top soil. Things like that. It's just not going to... Uh, it's not gonna work as well as you may want it to okay take your seed drop one in we put two in every cup uh, because one may not germinate or maybe one's gonna germinate and we don't like maybe, maybe two of them germinate and one of them looks stronger than the other well, you know that's that's very important to us to get the good good strong uh, plant so put one on this side I'm gonna put one on this side press it down in cover it up make sure it's got good ground con uh, dirt contact ground contact okay and just pat it down like that to make sure there's good contact on it. So make sure like there's any little hard pieces, like little uh, core pieces or whatever it is that they use to lighten this stuff up. If there's anything solid like that that can get in the way, um, get that out of the way. <laughs> Don't press that on top of the seed. It could, it could, it could harm it, maybe, possibly. Maybe not possibly. So you do that, press it in, and do all your seeds that way. Okay, again, I'm gonna spare the details. I got 60 seeds to plant, so I might be a minute. I do want to show you one tip, something that I found kind of useful in my process here, is I'm just going to go ahead and plant all my seeds on top right here. I'm just going to go and drop them in, and I'm not going to press them into the dirt yet for each variety. So this is one variety. This is the yellow one, okay? So I'm not going to press them into the dirt yet. That way, I don't forget which ones I planted. See, because you can get yourself a little confused about which ones you have put in the you put seeds in if you go ahead and cover them up so this way I know I'm fully aware of which ones have seeds and I won't double plant or forget to plant one because that would be a shame to put all these on the in into to let the seeds germinate and one of them you didn't plant any seeds in now wouldn't it so once I get the seeds in there I just press them in okay just take press them in and pinch over press press in and pinch over see I'll, I'll come here and show you I'll show you what I mean press it in with your finger see press it in just a little bit let me get the little twigs out of the way like I said like I talked about just press it in and pinch the dirt over if, I can, if you can see and just pinch the dirt over see press in and pinch over just like that so you don't need to go too deep, but you do need to go just a little deeper than you might with, let's say, a cabbage or a broccoli that we just planted, okay? But not too deep at all, okay? Don't don't get them too deep. You can, once they germinate, you can always put more dirt up around it, okay? Okay, we've got all these planted. Now, again, because we've got such strong trays, we're going to be easily able to carry them inside. We're going to carry them inside and show you what we do to make sure these bad boys get a good germination and uh, off to a great start. Okay, so we have these in here on our heat mat. See, I'm going to raise one up. If I can, without being, there's a little heat mat under here. See? There's a, so we have our heat mats right there. You see it. These are just a little electrical mats that are meant to put under your trays and they'll add heat from the bottom. Gentle heat. They're not very hot at all, but gentle heat to warm up your, your trays, 
and to warm up your dirt that way you can start getting your seeds warm because there's three things that are very important to growing to starting pepper seeds okay first one is heat heat humidity okay kind of the same one heat and humidity very important for peppers more more important for peppers than tomatoes by far now obviously tomatoes need it too but peppers are a little more thirsty for that kind of heat all right so you need heat and humidity and second you need moisture but that kind of gets the humidity going right so moisture so heat hu heat humidity moisture but also patience because it takes some time all right so but what you need to do while well, you have your dirt wet okay you moistened your dirt already um which is something i forgot to tell you we pre-moisten our dirt all right you pre-moisten our dirt to where it can make a ball in our hand so the dirt's already a little moist but now the seeds are in there and they need to be watered like you know with a good strong mist towards a lot of moisture on top see if you can look over here and sell there's already humidity growing and forming inside of these cups if you can see it on the camera and i'm not sure if you can you can see it right over here if you can see humidity growing inside or forming inside of these you can see it back here really well and these these are the broccoli seeds that we planted last week they've got humidity on going under them the cabbages have already sprouted if you can see those We'll turn this light on briefly. So okay, turn it light on briefly so you can see. See the cabbage is already sprouted. And then you can see humidity forming a lot better too that way. So keep spraying them. Get all your stuff sprayed. And make sure they're nice and moist. Alright, then after you get done spraying all your seeds down. Okay, we, ha we've, we haven't finished spraying these yet. But after you get done spraying them all down, cover, cover it with plastic wrap. Okay, I've got two strands of two sheets of plastic wrap. Kind of half on here, uh, one on this half and then one on this half and seal it down real tight push down around there kind of seals it down locks in that that warmth and humidity and after all like i said that's the biggest thing you need that heat and humidity and you need some patience all right now you'll see some people uh buy those plastic domes right and you can do that and that's fine the plastic domes will fit right down on top of these trays but they're also like 15 to 20 bucks I just find that completely unnecessary when I have plastic wrap here and that's plastic wrap will work just as well we've been doing that for a while and there's no issues with it, it creates a good amount of humidity and gets some growing all right so hey here it is a simple and effective way and a little cost effective and a little cheaper right to, to start your pepper seeds indoors so thank you guys so much for watching my name is Jason start recreation homestead we love you guys and God bless you and goodbye